When the pandemic hit, everyone was challenged in some way. At Islamic Relief, we had to figure out new ways to bring events to our community and make sure aid was still reaching those in need despite restrictions. Our minds were also heavily weighed down by the fact that our beneficiaries did not need this added to their already long list of struggles. This is why Sadiq O'Hara and I recently traveled to Turkey, Jordan and Lebanon. We got to hear from the people who your aid is reaching, see our projects in action and better understand some of the recent struggles they have been facing. Our first stop was Beirut, Lebanon, where we got to see firsthand how our programs are developed and implemented on the ground. Since late 2019, Lebanon has been hit with one crisis after another. What I remember of my trips to Lebanon prior to was that it was the jewel of the Middle East. Things can change so ever so quickly. So when we went and we saw the situation there, of course our hearts were, were saddened deeply because now the situation was so dire, especially in the Al-Baqa region. The idea that electricity is available for only one hour, that most people can't afford meat, and then, of course, the greatest crisis that we saw right off the bat was lineups for gasoline. People are lining up for three to four hours, and these lineups go for miles. The people that were once the hosts of refugees who came into Lebanon are finding themselves living in tents and now in need, in desperate need of care. You can imagine in a place like Lebanon, COVID-19 and the restrictions are extremely, extremely detrimental. How do people make ends meet when these restrictions have meant that they have had to close or at least restrict their businesses or their work hours? They don't have that sort of, sort of governmental stipend or support or any subsidizing of that sort. During our time in Lebanon, we had the opportunity to visit projects in Saida, Tripoli, Becca Valley, and Beirut. We met beneficiaries, partner organizations, and saw how our orphan sponsorship projects are being implemented. We had the privilege of meeting the Mufti of the Becca Valley, Sheikh Al Mais, Allah Hamu, who passed away shortly after we returned from Lebanon. May Allah grant him the highest level of Jannah for all he did for those in need. We continue to meet community leaders and organizations that are vital to help both the host community and the refugee communities in Lebanon. This is the story of a very resilient woman who is from the Lebanese host community and is supported by our orphan sponsorship program and was someone who shook up our whole team. She has six children. Two of them are sponsored through Islamic Relief. She does not have her own home and is currently staying in her brother's home. As inflation hit, those that were already living below poverty had an even more difficult time surviving. Okay, today, she goes, I live day to day, literally day to day. And she said, but you know, Alhamdulillah, we're well. Everyone who sat there was moved by her humility, moved in her, her spirit of, of resilience and, and overcoming this challenge. It is individuals like this that we came across throughout our trip to Lebanon. As someone who has been involved in the Muslim community for a long period of time, it was important for us to go on this trip to see firsthand how our programs are developed and implemented on the ground. Working with our donors and raising funds is one thing, but to actually see the beneficiaries and the donations in action and being implemented firsthand was so surreal and heartwarming. This field visit was an eye-opening and humbling experience that I have the privilege of being a part of, and it reminded me why we do what we do at Islamic Relief and why we work so hard to answer the call.